Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and it's day three of the 12 Projects of Christmas art journaling version. And today what I want to show you is creating little jackets for your signatures when you're using a detachable binding. One other thing too, I will put the link in my um, description for this video of the... Um, takeaway binding which was my original detachable binding and I had made it private a while back I got into a weird mood a while back about why am I giving everything away everybody else is selling you know but I just it's just my more my nature so I made it public again it's just more my nature I'm more about sharing the ideas that I come up with than I am about monetizing them and I think I've always been that way. Um, I've never been super comfortable about forcing people to pay me for stuff. So, um, you know, it's another thing when I'm selling, like when I would do kits and stuff, that was that was different because I was selling the product. It wasn't selling my idea. And I just feel that, I'll, this is a little bit my soapbox, but I just feel that paper crafting and journaling and all of that has become, become so since the whole, you know, 2020 stuff, um, it's become so about selling and getting people to buy things. And it's just as the platform, you know, when I first started doing live streams and that, nobody else, there was like, what, three of us, I think, who started it. And then, you know, there's a little bit of a bump after that. And then everybody was doing it. But it wasn't until... Um, all the COVID stuff that, you know, there's suddenly now there's all these platforms and there's all this equipment and there's all these things to be able to do the videos that, you know, back in the day, I would prop my camera up on a box so it would look down on my desk, you know. So I was back in those early days where we were out there with our machetes chopping down yeah, the, to create the paths for everybody to follow. So I just, I just not big on, you know, pay for this class, buy this, buy this. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to have some classes that I sell, but it's not my primary focus. And I really kind of, I think that's what I've been wanting to get back to by doing these 12 days. And I want to start doing some live streams again and sharing some projects and doing that sort of thing. And yes, will, in order to, <laughs> to support doing that, will I be selling a few things? Absolutely. But for me, it's more about creating that community, creating that togetherness. One of the things that I have absolutely loved about doing this series, and I'll get to this in just a sec, is that I keep getting comments from people of, oh, I remember doing that. Oh, I, re you know, how it has impacted their creative life and how, you know, how long so many people have been around and doing the crafting people come and go and I understand that interests change you know I know I frustrated a lot of people in the past several years with my kind of bouncing around trying to settle on a direction of where I want to go I got back into my quilting you know so I, I kind of having this war within myself between my quilting and my paper crafting and people still want the 3d stuff and it just my my I just kind of got a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> so, um, but the biggest thing that I do want to get back to is that sense of community that we had created all those years ago. Um, and it was more about gathering together. And, and I think we need this right now is <laughs> just coming together and over something we all share in common. Um, and, and I love of doing the kinds of stuff that we do. And so I've just kind of come to the conclusion, I'm going to do what I do and how I want to do it. And I'm not going to be pushed in into any direction that I don't necessarily want to go. And I, I mean, that's how I started. I didn't set out to create a business when I started paper crafting. I kind of fell into it. It was hyper successful for several years, but it also completely and totally fried and burned me out in terms of my creative voice. And it's taking me literally years to get my mental state back to where I'm creating just because I love creating and not because 
oh my God, I have to get another thing up. I have to get another thing up. I have to get another thing up kind of thing. So I'm just kind of going back to how I started doing this back when I started in 2009. I'm just going to share what I want to share, sell if I want to sell, but that's just where it is. So anyway, off my little soapbox. But what I want to talk about is making jackets for um, a removable signature. And I have now these two methods of having removable signatures. This one with the tubes, the fabric tubes, and the other one is where the signature is stitched to a lightweight chipboard that's formed into a triangle and ribbon threads through it. Um, it was live for a while. I took it down. It's live again. And I'll link that into my, and it's from 20, July of 21. So um, it's been three and a half years. Um, and that's when also so many of these books that I showed in the last video, um, I did those back in 2021 as well. Um, so, but in order, you have, you can have a signature with as many pages as you want in the signature. And if you have it with a detachable binding, you can create a jacket that is a also detachable. It's not attached into a book in any way um, because it just, your signature with a detachable binding sets into it and it then goes into the cover. Ironically, the detachable binding, the um, the other one that I, that's, oh, I can't even, takeaway binding, it's actually using this book cover. Um, but I, like I said, I took this one apart to get the signatures and to use, because I wasn't using it that way. So I decided I'm good. I love the cover, cover. I just wasn't excited about how it was inside. So anyway, so this can go in. You can then tie, tie that on and your sleeve then is a way of adding um, some extra pages. Um, it can be out of a different kind of paper or whatever. And I don't have this tied, so it's kind of loosey goosey, but um, <coughs> excuse me. But it can be simple and plain if you want it to be. Um, I have I have a cat who's trying to hone in on my video. Um, here I've done it um, with envelopes, so you, that way you have some pockets to put stuff in. And then this just slips inside. So it literally is just a jacket. And then you're gonna attach this as you normally would. And this is done somewhat similar with my original stack the deck, you know, little guys with the hinges or fins. Um, except if I have a three eighths of an inch strip that I've used inside um, my fabric tube, um, then I want this to be a half inch wide channel on here. So it's got the breathing room. Otherwise it kind of wants to go a little on, the, it wants to get a little cockeyed sideways in there. So you need that little bit of space in there. But it just has a half inch to five eighths inch fin. You open up the bottom of the envelope. How many millions of envelope video uh, projects have I done? Well, maybe not millions, but there's there's at least a couple hundred um, over the years. Whoops. So that's going to get attached. That gives you the channel that can wrap around. Like with an envelope, it can be the inside to the outside. Um, another one that I have done in the past, um, here's a more much more elaborate jacket. And this one was inspired by, I had done some echo dyeing and I had some envelopes. And when you echo dye envelopes, all the adhesive comes off. And I, it was kind of cool how they came open. So with this one, what I've done is taken that original envelope and then I've just here I've added this has got an extra it's got a pocket now on it by taking a larger piece of uh, pattern paper and I've glued it in a u-shape to form that pocket and then it has wings on it and then I added another piece these are just folded in half and attached um, with some washi tape to give that a hinge and then this closes up I had to extend this so that it tucked underneath and then I just put some little button closures on it so this helps it turn the corner and then this one closes it I have a cat trying to get out now and it does the same thing on the back um, and then 
that just fits inside. That's actually, this book I didn't show the other day. This is another one, see? And the reason why it had these button closures is I used those same thing on my, um, uh, on the book. Now this one has a little window opening because then I have a way of, uh, a different way of how that holds the jackets in and it also is part of the binding attachment, you know, with this part being the part that goes, is attached here and here or through the tube. Um, but that just, ha just has these little holes in it and, or grommets in there, not grommets, eyelets. And then it has another little piece that feeds through there. And that's, so this string is one piece of string on here. So this string attaches to these two buttons and my cat is desperately trying to take it out. So this, here's the, the um, signature that then fits inside this book, like so. And then it'll attach all in there. Um, Another book that I have some of these jackets in. As I said, these were all from like three years ago when I did that original binding. Um, here's the signature in the center. And then it has these red ones with uh, envelopes. So I put a pocket. And here's the envelope that's a flap. This is the envelope that's going to be a flap. So it's got all, this is going to be an Asian themed book. So that, hence I put in the red um covers or jackets onto all of the signatures and that's the one with a elastic on it um so anyway can be super simple use up some envelopes other kinds of envelopes or you can also like i have on this one you can make it a little bit more complex um if you're doing like these envelopes these could also be um some of pages from my various and sundry different pages from over the years of all the different mini albums that can that are those sleeve based ones that then can attach to this fin or hinge depending on what you want to call it so anyway super quick and easy but a great way to add a little bit to your detachable signatures to go in your journal by making them a jacket especially now that it's winter. All right, have fun with these. Thanks a bunch.